Hey Lancers, and welcome back to episode two of Food Reviews at CBU. Today we're at El Monte Grill located in Lancer Plaza next to the Office of Spiritual Life and Couches Corner. El Monte was introduced to CBU's campus in 2014 and has been a popular staple among CBU's staff, students, and faculty to enjoy a delicious meal that is completely customizable. El Monte has something for everybody in your group to enjoy. Let's get started. And first up today, we're trying the burrito. We have the carne asada burrito here today. It is packed with white rice, black beans, corn, salsa, fajita veggies, and guacamole. Let's go ahead and take a bite. This burrito is so good. The flavor from the carne asada is just absolutely delicious. It's really juicy and flavorful, but there's a really nice crust on it from the char of the carne asada. The guac adds a really nice creamy texture to it. The rice paired with those beans. This is a go-to for lunch. It is a 10 out of 10. All right, guys, and next on the menu, we have tacos. Tacos are my personal favorite food of all time, so I'm really excited for this. These are carnitas tacos with onions and cilantro and some green salsa. Let's take a bite into this. They are all on a nice flour tortilla, which is gonna be super delicious and a great way to hold everything together. The carnitas are so juicy and flavorful. That pork flavor is so nice. I love the tang you get from it as well too. The green salsa just pairs everything really well together and the bite of onion and cilantro. Who could ask for more? This is a 10 out of 10. Next up, we have a bowl. This is packed with rice, chicken, pico de gallo, some sour cream, some fajita veggies and guac. Look at how perfect that scoop of guacamole is. As I mentioned in our previous episode, I am a hot sauce gal. We'll just know that moving forward. So I'm gonna put some Cholula on this. That is my personal favorite, but they have a variety of hot sauces on the side station. So you can enjoy as much spice or as little as you like. I am such a huge fan of all of these flavors together. The fajita veggies are perfectly cooked and this chicken is so delicious. It's packed full of flavor. I am loving the guacamole, again, for that nice creaminess. I love sour cream on anything and this is super good all together. The black beans add really nice protein to it. The rice is delicious. You can also have it with some salsa on the side as we mentioned before. I think this is another 10 out of 10. We're giving straight 10s today. To wrap up this episode, we are finishing strong with our soy rizo salad. Soy rizo is a great option to have if you're a vegetarian, and we also have dairy-free cheese here as well. So on this salad, we have lettuce, peppers, bell peppers, we have guacamole, and some corn salsa, and also it does come with this dressing, so let's go ahead and pour this on and give it a try. The soy rizo really packs a punch. It's a little on the spicy side, and I can handle my spice, but it kind of gets you in the back of the throat, but it's really flavorful and delicious. I love the potatoes on here. Of course, I'm a big fan of our guacamole. Again, we got a gorgeous guac scoop. I am a big fan of a salad for lunch. I would say if you are a vegetarian, absolutely go for this, but I would personally put some chicken on it. Maybe that carnitas carne asada we had earlier. I would say this is a nine out of 10. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Food Reviews at CBU. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe for more fun food content. We'll see you next time.